going for the important questions now. Now the question is 1 to 4 x square minus x dx. Now comparing with a to b fx dx. Now what we are getting? fx is equal to x square minus x a is equal to 1 b is equal to 4. Now next step was h is equal to b minus a upon n where n belongs to natural number. So h is equal to or nh is equal to 4 minus 1 nh is equal to 3. Now writing the theorem. Limit h approaches to 0 h with f a a plus h a plus 2 h f a plus n minus 1 h. Now going individually for the terms f a f a is equal to f 1. Now f 1 and f x is what x square minus 1. So it becomes x 1 square minus 1 this is equal to 0. First term is 0. f a plus h f 1 plus h 1 plus h whole square minus 1 minus sorry minus 1 plus h ok. So now solve this part what we are getting 1 plus 2 h plus h square minus 1 minus h. So we are left with h plus h square then f a plus 2 h now this is equal to f 1 plus 2 h this is equal to 1 plus 2 h whole square minus 1 plus 2 h now solving this what we are getting 1 plus 4 h plus h square minus 1 minus 2 h now we are left with 2 h plus sorry here it will be 4 h square 2 h plus 4 h square going for the final term that is the last term f a plus n minus 1 h this is equal to f 1 plus n minus 1 and h now 1 plus n minus 1 h whole square minus 1 plus n minus 1 with h now this becomes what 1 plus 2 n minus 1 h plus n minus 1 whole square h whole square minus 1 minus n minus 1 h n minus 1 h plus n minus 1 whole square h whole square. So now what we are having first term, second term, third term and the last term. Now let us put these terms in the theorem. So we will be having now integration for limit h approaches to 0 h with 0 so I am not I am not writing 0 I am starting from here h plus h square h plus h square plus 2 h plus 4 h square 2 h plus 4 h square plus 
प्लस एन माइनस वन एच प्लस एन माइनस वन स्क्वेयर एच Now solving further limit h approaches to zero h. Now taking h common one plus two plus n minus one. One thing plus h square. Taking common h square. What we are having one plus two square. Is it clear? Now this becomes limit h approaches to zero h with h n minus one n upon two plus h square n minus one n two n minus one upon six. Limit h approaches to zero. Now h and h h is square. Okay, with two terms now. N h minus h and N h upon two plus N h minus h N h two N h minus h upon six. Now what is N h? We are having N h as three. So this becomes now three minus zero with three upon two plus three minus zero three six minus zero upon six. So we are having nine upon two plus nine. This six and six cancels. Nine upon two plus nine. So this becomes nine plus eighteen upon two. And this is equal to twenty-seven upon two, and this is the answer.